Hello everyone, Neil Tappen here from Golf Monthly and welcome to this Tiger Woods 2019 What's in the Bag video in which we're going to take a close in-depth look at the golf clubs Tiger has in his bag this year. Now you might well be aware that over the years Tiger hasn't been one of those players who's gone for sort of major equipment overhauls, more sort of minor tweaks here and there, but in 2019 he has made some big changes, some significant changes right from his driver all the way through the bag and that's what we're going to focus on in this video. Now guys if you're new to the Golf Monthly channel please do hit the subscribe button, uh, if you like what you're watching also please do give us a like as well. But in in this video we're going to focus on Tiger Woods' golf clubs starting with his driver. Okay, so I should probably say from the outset that Tiger's lead equipment sponsor is TaylorMade. So you're going to see quite a few TaylorMade golf clubs in his bag, including his driver. And at the start of last season, so at the start of 2018, Tiger Woods put in the new TaylorMade M3. And that was significant for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because it was the first time Tiger had ever used an adjustable driver. So throughout his time at Nike, he'd always gone for a fixed hosel driver. But TaylorMade managed to convince him to use their fully adjustable driver. He went with the M3 and it was interesting because throughout the year, the weight system that he had in the back of the head changed quite significantly. So he had it from fade bias uh, setups to sort of low spin setups to more forgiving uh, setups in terms of those weights in the back of the head. And as the season went on and as his driving improved, so Tiger began to contend in some of the biggest tournaments. So look at the Open, the PGA Championship and of course his win at the Tour Championship. And that's why we were slightly surprised, I, I guess, to see him change at the beginning of 2019. So Tiger has a new driver in the bag and he's using the TaylorMade M5. So this is the upgrade to last year's M3. So it's their fully uh, adjustable all seal dancing driver. And Tiger has already changed and played around with the weights in the back of this head. So when he first came out with it, he had the, the, the weights in a sort of split low spin setting. So he had one right uh, pressed up to the front of the head and then one still in that central track, but a little bit further back, the setup that you can see here. Uh, however, uh, that changed in that first tournament out to the setup that I've got in my hands here where he's got both of the weights split and at the back of the head this is a much more forgiving setting. So with uh, someone like Tiger Woods his uh, club head speed would be around about 125 miles per hour, ball speed around about 180 miles an hour and that low spin setting would help Tiger get the most distance for that incredible uh, club ball speed combo. However, it's not as forgiving as the setup I've got in my hands here. And I think Tiger has made the decision that he's willing to give up a few yards here and there for a slightly higher spin setting that is more forgiving. It's something that we've also seen Brooks Kepka do. Uh, and it's an interesting uh, concept to think about in your own game as well. Uh, Tiger also has a new shaft in his driver for 2019. So Tiger over the years has really loved that Matrix Ozic shaft, been a real favourite of his over the years. In 2019 he's using the Diamana whiteboard uh, 70 gram X flex shaft, so quite heavy, quite stiff, again enabling him to make the most of that incredible club head ball speed combination. there is another change in the bag here. Tiger is carrying uh, the TaylorMade M5 3-wood. Um, this is interesting because it has a TaylorMade sort of movable weight system in the sole. You can set it up for a fade or a draw. Tiger doesn't go for any of that. He has it in a very neutral setting. Uh, it's 13 degrees and let's face it, really, this is a second driving option for Tiger. Uh, this gives him that extra option off the tee if he needs to lay up short of a bunker or if the hole's really narrow. I'm sure if you're a fan of Tiger Woods, you'll know that his, his fairway wood game off the tier three wood game has been absolutely sort of sparkling over the years. So having that second driving option at the top end of the bag is something that he really does rely on. And that's why he has this set, uh, fairway wood set up the way that he does. Uh, he has that same Diamana whiteboard shaft in it, 10 grams heavier in the fairway wood. The five wood, however, Tiger uses the old TaylorMade M3 still. That's 19 degrees, it has the same Diamana shaft in it. It goes to show that fairway woods are one of those areas of the bags that are quite difficult to get right. T Tiger obviously fell in love with that TaylorMade M3 five wood last year and TaylorMade haven't been able to swap that out of his bag at the start of 2019. Okay, so moving on to the two iron, and this is another area of the bag that Tiger has changed for 2019. We've been used to seeing him using the TaylorMade RSI UDI 
Uh, it's a sort of uh, driving iron in the top end of the bag, so slightly thicker top line, uh, more forgiveness, more distance. He carried that in 2018, although he did swap it out for one week. During the Open Championship, Tiger used the tailor-made Gapper Low, but uh, once Carnoustie was done and dusted, he went back to that RSI UDI 2 iron. And now, at the beginning of 2019, it seems that Tiger is swapping that RSI 2 iron out and replacing it with TaylorMade's P760. Now, if anything, Tiger seems to be going towards a more traditional looking 2 iron here. So the P760 would have a slightly more traditional profile down behind the ball, not much in it, um, but it still has that sort of modern performance that TaylorMade are able to pack into their P series, their players series irons. And then from there, Tiger makes another switch in his irons. So to give you a little bit of background, at the beginning of 2018, Tiger carried a set of custom TGR blades. Now this was a set of irons that was built for him specifically by Nike just before they came out of the golf club market. And as you can see, they look absolutely stunning. Now halfway through last year, Tiger actually replaced the TGR irons with a set of TW Phase 1 irons. Again, really simple, really traditional looking blades. And at the beginning of 2019, he has another new set of blades in the bag. This is the P7 TW iron. And actually, the first time we saw this iron being used out on tour wasn't even by Tiger Woods himself. It was by Tommy Fleetwood uh, at the Abu Dhabi Golf Championships. Tommy had it, that iron in play, albeit it didn't have that little bit of uh, red paint fill in the back of the head that Tiger has on it. Um, but Tiger has this set in the bag, really thin soles, offering maximum control, maximum workability, something, I mean, Tiger Woods has probably been the best iron player of his and many other generations, I would suspect. So go for something uber traditional, something that offers him as much workability and control as he could possibly need into the green seems like a good idea. This is actually a milled grind set of irons. So it's very similar in terms of its profile, it seems, to TaylorMade's P730 iron, the set of irons that's being used by the likes of Dustin Johnson and Rory McIlroy. But this one clearly has been designed specifically with Tiger in mind. This is what Tiger wants in his bag and TaylorMade have been able to build it for him at the beginning of 2019. What do you think of those irons? They look absolutely stunning. You'll also notice that this has a set of Dynamic Gold X100 shafts in it. It's a shaft that Tiger has used in his irons pretty much all the way through his professional career, I think, and it's still in play in 2019. <music> Tiger only carries two uh, specialist wedges in the bag. Now you'll find that's quite unusual amongst tour players. Most tour players carry more, more than two uh, sort of specialist wedges in the bag. Tiger doesn't, he carries a 56 and a 60 mil grind by TaylorMade. Uh, it's a wedge setup actually that he's had for many years. Those Nike VR forged wedges that he had in his bag for many years, they were the last of his Nike clubs to be dropped. Uh, he did so last year. He swapped them out for TaylorMade's mill grind wedges. Uh, these have the raw finish on them, so the finish that sort of rusts over time. Again, it's something that Tiger Woods has really liked in that area of his bag uh, over the years. And in his wedges, he has a slightly softer shaft than in his irons. It's something you'll find that most players do. He has an S400, Dynamic Gold S400 shaft in his wedges. Okay, so onto the putter, and this was the golf club that Tiger changed the most in 2018. He actually had three different putters in play at different points during the year, starting with his old trusty favourite, uh, that Scotty Cameron Newport GSS putter, that one that he'd used to win all of his major championships. That was in the bag at the start of 2018, but he switched, and he switched into a mallet putter, which was a bit of a shock to us all. I don't think I ever really got used to seeing Tiger using a mallet putter. He went for the tailor-made Ardmore, uh, but it didn't last. He didn't really get on with it. It didn't last for very long, so he swapped into a more traditional looking Juno uh, putter from TaylorMade, a TP Juno uh, classic heel and toe uh, putter. But at the start of 2019, you will see Tiger using that classic Newport GSS putter. Now to give you an idea of the worth of that putter, Last year, Tiger sold his backup version of that putter for, that dates back to 2001. He sold it at auction for 
$1,000. Now that gives you an idea of this sort of historical significance of that putter uh, and the worth of it as well, really quite incredible. Now one other thing to notice about that putter is the grip. So Tiger has a very old, very simple uh, uh, golf pride grip, black grip that was designed originally by Ping by Carsten Solheim. You'll notice that the Ping that you can see here that's in gold that really sort of lights up in the sunshine, that's been blacked out on Tiger's putter. So you, it's difficult to identify the Ping, but you will see it if you look for it. Uh, it's the, probably the most, the oldest, most classic traditional thing in Tiger's bag, and it's still in there today. Uh, finally, Tiger is using the Bridgestone golf ball. He's using the BXS. This is Bridgestone's uh, lower spinning uh, ball. So lower spinning with the driver should offer a little bit more distance, really designed for those players with the sort of club head speed that Tiger is able to produce with the driver. His being around about the 125 miles an hour mark, this ball really aimed at him. Now Tiger is sponsored by Bridgestone. He signed with them in December 2016 and he's using the same golf ball that he was using in 2018. So there you have it guys. That is Tiger. Tiger Woods' golf club and golf ball lineup for 2019. Uh, please do leave comments below. Do you think Tiger Woods will win a major in 2019? If so, which one will he win? So you've got the, the Masters at Augusta, obviously. Then you have the US PGA Championship at Bethpage in New York. Then it's the uh, US Open at Pebble Beach, another one of Tiger's favourites. And then finally, the Open Championship goes to Royal Port Rush. Do you think Ch Tiger has it in him to win another major championship? If so, which one? And if he did, how big a sporting achievement would it be? We all wait with bated breath to see what Tiger is able to do in 2019. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please do hit the like button. But for now, it's goodbye.